Hi folks, Karen here, and today I want to talk about making coloring books. So I found out last, I guess it was probably around October, I mean August, about doing coloring books. So I taught myself how to do it, and I made a coloring book. And out of curiosity, I was like, where are all these being sold? And besides Amazon, I see people are selling them on eBay. So they have to buy them from Amazon in order to sell them on eBay. And it was just like amazing. <laughs> so here I'll show you some payment proof. This was, now you can see this is On Demand Publishing. On Demand Publishing is Create Space on Amazon. And my first check was for $115.20. And that was for September and October. And then for November, and again, this is One Demand Publishing. And for November, it was two twenty eight forty, and for the end of November was yeah, another seventy one twenty eight. So I've done pretty good with this, and this is just for one coloring book. <clears throat> and let me show you the inside. The inside is just some scenes of horses. Some horses running, there's a horse in the stable. So these are just some scenes and there are 40 coloring pages in this book. Now this is done with Photoshop and Pixabay and PDF and then once you have them all done you upload them to create space and it's two separate files so I'm going to go through this and show you just an overview of how I do it let's head over and I'll show you how I do this hey folks now I'm going to show you how I do this so the first thing you want to do is get images so what you're going to do is take images and you're going to convert them into sketches. So the first place I go is Pixabay. And here you can see right here Pixabay. So it's just pixabay.com. Now say you're going to do a coloring book about bunnies. We're just going to use this as a uh, sample here. You want to use photos. And here's all kinds of bunnies. So you want to get something that's got pretty decent color to it. So let's use, let's find a cool little bunny here. Something without too much black or too much white in it. This looks like a decent one. Now, the reason I love Pixabay, free for commercial use, no attribution required. So you can do anything you want to. These are public domain images, and you can do anything you want with them. Now, I do donate to Pixabay, so you want to make sure that you at least do that. When you go to download it, get a free download, you want to go with the medium size, the 1280 by 853. That's what you want to use. So we're going to download it. And then you want to, you know, find how many you're going to do. It's, you know, if I'm doing a coloring book with 40 pages, I try and find 45 or 50 photos because some of them aren't going to work right. So you'll have to, you know, have more than you need. Now I'm going to launch 
Adobe Photoshop. Sorry folks, I do not know how to use GIMP or Paint.net because I've been using Photoshop for a lot of years. So I have never learned how to do it because I don't need to know how to do it. <laughs> now, let's get this in screen here for you so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, over here you have your layers. I mean, here's your layers. And this is your tools. So you're going to go File, New. Now, Here's where you have to set it up for the PDF print and so that you really don't have to do any editing or anything when it uploads to Create Space because they'll kick it back if the resolution isn't high enough. So I do an 8 by 10 picture and this is in inches. So you can see here it's in inches. I set the resolution at 700. RGB color, and then I click and I do a transparent background. Say so click OK, then I maximize it. Now I'm going to place. And that was my butterflies I did earlier. We're going to be using the rabbit. Now you wanted a decent size, so I always turn it this way. And then I increase the size. Now it's a nice sharp picture. Now what you have to be careful with is what they call bleeding. So like when this is on the page, you don't want any of the color bleeding over into the other page. So you have to rasterize the layer before you can work with it. Then what I do is I trim it so it's got some margin here. And this way nothing gets cut off. Now I did, like I said, I did this with my horse's book and everything came out fine. My horse's is the third coloring book I've done. The first two didn't turn out very well. So I kind of learned from those. But this right here seems to work perfect. I didn't have to change anything when I printed them the PDF. They came out perfect, and when I uploaded everything, it was perfect. So now you got your image ready. Now the next thing you want to do is image adjustments, desaturate. And you have to do this in this order. So you desaturate it, then you duplicate the layer, keep the upper layer clicked as active. So you're going to work with the, the, the copied layer. Image, Adjustments, Invert. Then you go up here to your little box and click Color Dodge. Now there's two filters you can use and I play around with both of them. Primarily you want to go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And then play with your radius here. So let's move this up a little bit. Okay, let's go to 75. That's that's pretty good there. That's pretty good there. So we'll leave that there. I said you play with these. You're going to be playing with the levels depending on the picture. <clears throat> now I want to sharpen this up a little bit because it's still a little bit blurry so we'll go to filter other minimum now you see how this kind of sharpened up a little bit now this is good at a five so let's save that and see what it does. Sometimes this filter it doesn't process the same way as it looks on the preview. Now that looks good. That looks pretty good. People can still see where they're supposed to color in. 
And so this is a sample, so I'm not going to be using this, but you just play with it until it looks just right for you. Remember, you want it black and white, and you want it to look like a sketch. And that's where the minimum filter comes in. So your Gaussian blur will make it black and white, and then your minimum will kind of fine-tune it a little bit. Now, once you have it done, you want to file, and you want to print it to PDF. Now, there's a, a, a software out there called Cute PDF Writer, and that's what I use. Link, there'll be links below on you know, where to find Pixabay and Cute PDF. So you want to print it to Cute PDF. Now we're going to save it. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Well, let's see. We'll just put it in coloring books for now. Oh, where did I put it? Coloring books. We'll just stick it right in coloring books. And I'm just going to call it Rabbit. If I was doing rabbits, I'd have a separate folder here. All right, now we'll see what that PDF looks like. So let's go to coloring books. And here's the rabbit PDF. And now we have the rabbit PDF. This is only, this is showing high, so let's reduce size so you can see it. Now obviously <clears throat> when people open their coloring books they're going to turn the coloring book to a landscape position to color it. So that's how you do okay. that. What I'm going to show you here is this. This is the one I finished. What you end up with is these separate PDF files. All these separate PDF files. What you want to do you want it all in one. You want one file. I think that, yeah, these are the inside pages. So you want one file. Now there's a tool that you can use to do this, and I'll put the link below. It's called PDF Fill. So I'll put a link below on where you get it. and you're going to merge the files. So you would just add your separate PDF pages into the tool and then you would merge them. And this way you have one file. Now, let's see, let's close that and close that. The second thing you're going to need is your outer cover. Here it is, outer cover. The outer cover is, this is what's going to be on the face, like I showed you on, on the other first part of the video. This is what the horses were. And then on the back is where they're going to put the um, USB and barcode goes on the back. So you really don't want anything on the back here at all. You just want it plain. Now, to get that, The cover is in Photoshop. And you just place a picture of your cover, what you want your cover to look like, right here. And again, you're, you're going to have to figure out some of these things yourself, learn how to use Photoshop, but it works in layers, or paint, or GIMP, whatever it is. You just need to know how to use layers, because I just took one of the pictures that this is a coloring page inside the book. That's what I always use, a coloring page inside the book, and then I overlay it with 
my information. And then again, you print out the PDF. And when you print it, you print it in landscape. So here's the one that I did for the cats and kittens. And make an ebook. I make an ebook soft cover to put in the inside cover. But this is just a picture. And again, I did this with Photoshop. Let's just bring it up so you can look at it. But I just put the original. What I actually did was I took the original picture and then on top of that I put the um, the one that I edited to be a coloring page and then just put them together. And then I turned it into a soft cover and then I put it on my inside cover. Your inside cover and intro gets put with all of these pages when you merge the pages. So like I said, this, this took a little while to do. It does take a while to do it, but it's one of those cool things. It's once you do it, it's done. You know, once your coloring book is finished and it's out there to sell, you don't have to keep doing the same one over and over again. Just go on and do another book. So I kind of hope this helps you and um, wanting to know how to make them and the rest of the marketing is when when your book is finished and it's on Amazon just share it to your Facebook profile share it to Twitter Google Plus stumble upon Tumblr you just want to use social media let them know that it's out there and with mine it took about maybe a month for it to really pick up and get moving. See, I think I uploaded these late August, early September, and then I got a check in October, my first check in October. So have fun with it. It's uh, one way to make you a little extra money. Okay, have fun out there with your coloring books, and if you like this video, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, bye.